What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today is... Um, what day is it? I have no idea. Hang on, let me think. It is Tuesday the 10th of October. Okay, so today is an exciting day because I'm actually doing a photo shoot and I'm going to take you along with me and show you a little bit of the prep and things like that. But um, I just got back from the, from, from the gym and um, I'm just going to get organized and then I'm going to tell you what I've done for my prep so far and what I'm going to do to prep further then to go on to do my photo shoot. So I'll catch you in a second. Okay, just set you up there for now. So first of all, the reason why I'm having a photo shoot, I mean, I've had quite a few photo shoots before, and obviously I always need content, um, but this specific reason is because I am having a website built or created. Um, so they need some good quality images. So it was kind of a last minute thing. Um, but the good thing about doing it now is that I'm practically stage lean. I'm in shape. I don't have to do some, you know, six week mini cut, which has happened before when I've had uh, photo shoots. It's kind of been like a long process of preparation, you know, buying different outfits and trying to formulate you know a, a, a look in my head of what I want the photograph to turn out like well this is very you know the the company need images um, kind of straight away um, because we've got a, a three-week uh, time plan at the moment so which is really exciting so so basically uh, I found a local studio photographer and booked in for it a couple of days ago um, so I had a spray tan yesterday, which the spray tan, guys, when you're used to competition tanning, that's why my palms are this color, uh, but when you're used to competition tanning, you know how dark the tan is. This tan <laughs> is just so light. I mean, I was really, really white uh, before, but it's just, it's taken the edge off the white, but this to me is not a tan, and I'm gonna be photographed against a white background, so I'm a bit concerned that I'm just gonna blend in. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I, I did the spray tan and that's the only prep really that has happened. Um, this morning, yesterday was a high carb day, which is relevant because you want your body to, um, your muscles to absorb the glycogen. So you, so I look full and not very depleted because I am very depleted at the moment because we're trying to lose the body fat up until the show. Um, so yesterday was a high carb day anyway, so it's helped to fill my muscles out a little bit this, this morning and I've also worked out, I worked out shoulders to get a little bit of a pump so they look nice and juicy and not thin and stringy. Um, so that's like a little bit of prep that I've done this morning. Um, also I drank water as soon as I got up. I did my cardio, um, I drank water. Now I won't drink anything else until after my photo shoot, which my photo shoot is at 10. It's 20 past eight at the moment. So I can go without water for that long. And the reason I don't want to drink any more water is because I don't want to bloat my stomach. Likewise, I'm not going to eat anything because I had plenty to eat yesterday. I'm not particularly hungry now and I don't want to be adding a lot of volume in my stomach. So um, I'm not going to eat anything until after the photo shoot either. So all I need to do now is basically get ready. So I'm going to do my hair and I'm going to put some makeup on and try and look kind of pretty. <laughs> um, I did ask the photographer if they got uh, one of those reflectors to shine in my face because I'm quite self-conscious about my face at the moment because I know that I'm really lean and I'm very angular. So I said, give me all the light in my face. I don't want any shadows on my face, but she hasn't got enough. <laughs> she hasn't got a reflector, but she says she'll play around with the lighting. So, um, yeah, but I want the I want the, the photos to be um, kind of bright and friendly and feminine. I don't want them to be like fierce or sexy or anything like that because it's going to be on my website. So I want to appeal to women, not appeal to men. So it's going to be yeah, clean and you know 
like I say, friendly and that kind of vibe, hopefully. So I have done a vision board. I'll probably put the vision board, I'll show you the vision board as well. Um, at another time I'll put it on the screen or whatever um, and that just helps the photographer to know what kind of um, like theme or, or, or look that you're going for so there's no confusion on the day um, because I have had photo shoots before where I have wanted them to be very dark and very shadowy and sort of like show my muscles um, and I did vision boards for those as well. And, you know, the poses that you want to be, do you want full full length or do you want three quarters or is it just head and shoulders? So the, the more information you can give the photographer, then uh, the more that they're going to try and give you what you want, basically. So I already sent uh, my photographer um, my vision board. Uh, and like I say, it's going to be, uh, my clothes are kind of black, gray, black and grey basically so it's going to be a very monochromatic um, white background I wanted a grey background but she hasn't got a grey background either but we shall see I'll see if my pasty skin stands out against the white so yes what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get ready and actually I'll show you I'm just doing two outfits so I, I didn't want a big long photo shoot lots of uh, outfit changes. I just want two two outfits and about five poses in each to send to my website designer. Um, so I will show you the outfits now. So here they are. First one, we've got some shorts. They're actually scrim shorts. They're pretty short, but they're close fitting. And then a grey top, and I like the open backs to show my back and shoulders off. And I'm going to team those with my Mac Airs. And then the other one is another open backed um, black bra, just very simple. And then these are a looser fitting short, and they come lower down, so hopefully we can get some abs, ab shots in that one. And then just my Nike, these are actually my cardio shoes. Um, but very, very simple, very clean against that white background or maybe we'll go with the dark background as well. Um, but that's it. That's my two outfits. Super easy. Okay, so I wanted to show you my vision board um, that I sent to my photographer. Um, so basically this was it. And the benefits of sending your photographer a vision board is obviously you want to be on the same page like if they weren't thinking of these colors and this kind of image then they might you know direct me into something completely different so it's also good for myself to know what kind of colors i'm going to go for um the, the kind of feel that you know i want to go for so this is just something that i found online um, I really like the colours, the simple background. Uh, we're probably not going to be using any props, but um, you know that's it. you know the poses are still um, good poses to try and you know emulate when I'm in my photo shoot. So so this just puts me and my photographer on the same on the same page. I've actually uh, this is just made in Canva. It was like super easy. I just screenshot these images from the internet and then I just put them on a board. Um, let's see, I have a, a few others because I've had, I've done a few photo shoots before now. So this is one, a vision board for one that I did in Cayman, which was like a beach, um, beach and bikini photo shoot. So these are some of the poses that I really liked, um, the colors. So that's what I sent to my photographer there. And then another time I wanted gym shots and I wanted them to be really dark. And this was, my photographer found this to be, you know, really, really good help. And my shots did turn out kind of really shadowy like that. So, so yeah, that's what you want to do. I use Canva for all my kind of online creations. Um, I do my YouTube thumbnails on there as well. So yeah, just thought I would show you that. Uh, just another step in preparing for your photo shoot. Okay, this is the finished look. Just gone for something 
kind of natural it's something that's going to stand out a little bit hair is just curled already got my outfit on that's it hopefully it's only going to take kind of half an hour at the most um, it was booked for 15 minutes but I don't I don't know if that's even possible <laughs> to do a photo shoot in that small of a time um, but hopefully it doesn't go on for too long because I am starving and I want some water so I'm just gonna pack up my stuff now and drive on over there it is almost 9 30 so I did pretty good time my appointment is booked for 10 a.m so see you there Expression on my face. Yeah. Uh, I think I've got bitch face. So okay. <laughs> try to remind me if I look like a bitch. Okay. Uh, and do you want like smiling photos? Uh, kind of pleasant looking, but okay. not like a smiley smiley no, okay. because my face is just not smiley right now. Okay. <laughs> So it's only a couple of hours later and Marlies has already sent me through the sample photographs. So this is the hard bit now. I have to go through all of the shots and uh, basically choose. I'm just going to have 10, 10 images. Um, so probably like five in each outfit. I only did two outfits. So yeah, this is, so you see that they're just the samples. So they're the unedited versions and then I'm going to choose 10 and then she's going to edit the shots. Um, so this is, so you'll see that there's variations of the same pose just to make sure we get the correct facial expression and the, you know, the right angle. We just tweaked as we went. Um, so yeah, I'll try and get, you know, a nice one from each pose, about five from each of the of the outfits. And then I don't know how long it's gonna take her to edit them, possibly a couple of days, and then I will send them on to my website designer and he can pop them on the new website. So yeah, it was a really good day. Uh, I'll definitely use Molly's again. She's with Magnetic Photography. Um, they actually husband and wife they go to my gym here in Neisner, K-Fit so I didn't realize that they they owned that place so 
I'll definitely use them again and we'll probably do a location shoot next time. But um, yeah, good experience. Uh, it was good to get back and to eat and drink. <laughs> it didn't take too long, it only took an hour. So super organized as well, which I like a lot right now because I haven't got a lot of available energy because I'm in prep and low calorie. Um, but that's where I'm going to end the video today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.